Hey everybody, welcome back to the Metal Metal 52 workshop. My name is Bill, this is my shop. We're working on an LBSC Titch locomotive, little three and a half inch gauge locomotive. And this is a short episode this week. I just, uh, in, in it you'll see me correcting some mistakes that I made in the past. I remade the valve spindles with some good 303 stainless that I got from McMaster Car. I made these clevises and I made some little bolts out of quarter inch steel to go inside the clevises and then finally I made some hand filing of the steam passages for the cylinder covers just um, and I'll show you that towards the end of this video yesterday I had an interesting experience Fred and I went over and worked on Chuck's locomotive uh, Chuck was a friend of ours from the local group and uh, sadly he passed away I think it was end of January thereabouts and um, anyway his Fred is helping his widow sell his locomotive and Fred and I went over there to Chuck's house to work on it and it was interesting we, we took it a little bit apart it needs a little bit of TLC it had not been run in a while so um, I got to to you know work on Chuck's locomotive with Fred and I, it's my point in mentioning this is if you have a mentor somebody you can spend some time with. It's always a learning experience, so I really enjoyed that, Fred. Uh, thanks for that, and hopefully we'll, we'll be able to help uh, Chuck's widow sell that locomotive soon. Uh, things, speaking of soon, coming soon, and speaking of the McMaster car, I uh, got a piece of stock to make the crossheads out of, got some uh, copper pipe that I can use for the intake and exhaust tees, so lots of good stuff coming together in the near future as time permits it's starting to get nice outside it's um, so the yard work and the job and everything competes with my workshop time but I appreciate everybody joining me on this journey I hope it's enjoyable to you as always give me a thumbs up ask any questions and I hope you have a great week thanks everybody y'all take care Okay, I won't belabor the point, but I'm remaking the valve slides from that unknown eBay stainless steel that I ended up warping this portion here, the 540 thread. I'm remaking it with some beautiful 303 Easy Machining stainless that I just got in the mail from or delivered from McMaster Car. I went ahead and put the, the thread on the end, the 532nd 40 thread on the ends of both of them and I'm getting ready to turn down the three quarter inch portion down to an eighth of an inch so I can thread this one and as you can see I've got it set up with the uh, rotating uh, actually this is the, the fixed steady the rotating steady would be too big but for the tailstock um, support and I'm going to put a little drop of whey oil on that so because it's not a rotating if I can get it to come out Let's, there we go, well, more than a drop, but that'll help. So I won't belabor this, but I'm going to turn that down to an eighth inch now and then thread it. Well, that method worked out really nicely. I got a good finish here and consistent. I checked it at the measurement several places along the line, and it's just one thou under, which will be perfect for threading with the tailstock die holder. Also, I have several 540 tailstock dies. So I put a brand new one unused in the uh, tailstock die holder. So, and it came out nice, the threads came out nice. I'll show you those in just a second on both of them after I do this one. And here I'm, I've just finished threading this with the brand new tailstock die and the tailstock die holder. Look how perfect and straight and clean it came out. Sure wish I'd have taken the time to do this in the first place. That having the tail of the piece of cord makes all the difference. In the world. Next thing I'm going to do is make the little bolts that go in for the the clevises, and I've got some quarter inch steel hex stock here. I've got it in the three jaw chuck, the small three jaw chuck, and I'm going to turn it down to quarter, or excuse me, an eighth of an inch body by three-eighths of an inch long and then we'll thread the first half of that the first three sixteenths and we'll cut it off to make a bolt it's always fun making making your own fasteners time consuming that's why I don't do all of it but it is fun making your own okay here we are just use the high-speed steel 
cutter and only took a few seconds, well, a couple minutes actually, to get it down to eighth inch shaft. So now I'll mark off the first half of it so that I don't over thread it. The purpose for having the smooth shoulder is that this is going to go into the clevis and um, it'll provide support for the connecting rod that goes into the valve, the valve actuating rod. All right, there it is with the marked out portion threaded. Now we'll put the cutoff tool in and cut it off. I think just a note about the materials. This has been forever since I bought this material, this quarter inch hex stock. But it has to be 12L14 leaded steel because it cuts so easy. It's extremely nice. It's a pleasure to use it after using that stainless. Even the 303 stainless that I got from McMaster Car was a world better than the eBay stainless. But uh, the 12L14 make, is really easy to work steel. Right, I wanted to show a little thing here. I saw that LBSC does not talk about doing this, so I'm kind of taking an experiment. But as you can see, there's that little 1 16th inch shoulder that goes into the space where the um, the steam passages are and the end of the cylinders. And I saw an online build series where the guy rigged up an elaborate thing and used a round, round nose end mill to mill away part of the register. And I thought... Rather than doing that, what I might do is use some files. So I've got a little jig here, and I've got a piece of 3000s brass taped down to my um, vise, and I just have the the um, end piece, the cylinder cover, just held up. What I've been doing is holding this in place with my hands and then filing just a little 45-degree angle just to create a little extra space for the gas to go through. I'll show you what the finished product looks like in a minute. Okay, here's the finished product on one. You can see I just filed that little slant. I'm glad I didn't try to set this up in the mill. I was thinking about doing that. Um, but I think that little, that'll give a little extra space for the gases if it's needed. I'm not sure it will be. And there's still a little a bit of a register there. Still 20 thou or so. Or maybe more. Maybe about 30 thou. Still to help seal the overall cylinder. So I think that's a good compromise. Pretty happy with that. All right, let me wrap up the week here with it. This is a short video this week, obviously. Show you what the little progress we did. These are how the, the little homemade quarter inch bolts, little shoulder bolts came out. Came out really nice. And um, they go inside the clevises like this. Here's the right hand side clevis. So pretty pleased about that. Also, th these are the remade valve spindles. Let me show you on this one here. So not a lot to see but just they came out a lot better, a lot straighter than the ones I warped before so I'm glad I went and did that over again. Um, made them a little bit longer and of course the high quality 303 stainless that I got from McMaster Car. So very pleased about that and the final part of this week's episode was the uh, making a little steam relief inside the internal registers of the, the cylinder covers themselves. So not a lot, but I did get a, speaking of McMaster car, I got a nice care package. I had saved up a whole bunch of stuff that I was wanting to order. And they have some of the really nicest cold rolled steel you could ask for. So this is way more than I need. But this is what the crossheads will be made out of. So uh, so 5 16th by 3 quarter inch by a foot long. And it was very reasonably priced. And it's good stuff. So I'll be working on the crossheads next. And I got material for the guides, the valve guides and all that. So, And also I got some copper pipe that I can use the, the cross tees which I purchased after I had bought the kit. So this will this will all be coming soon, you know, machining these parts and the copper pipe that will join the intake and exhaust for the cylinders. That'll all be coming up next. So I hope you have a great week, everybody. As always, please uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this series. Ask any questions that you have. Please hit the subscribe button. And uh, check out, there's a couple of cool newer YouTube content creators. There's a 
lady in England named Julia Stevenson with a PH Stevenson and um, she's publishing a lot of videos on two and a half inch gauge locomotives and a lot of videos from the club that she belongs to apparently and it's really cool stuff so check her out and um, like I said hope you enjoy it have a great week thanks everybody we'll see you soon